Hello, everybody, and welcome to the YouTube channel of Skip Allen. There was a question at Painter Factory that I thought was very interesting. Um, and the question is how to get a grainy erasure masking leaves residue. And it, uh, Marcel says, if I'm painting with a grainy pastel, I'd like to be able to erase with some and leave a similar edge to the brush. But the standard eraser has a smooth edge, which looks a bit weird. Is there an easy way to get a grainy eraser? Well, the answer is no. There isn't an easy way to get one. The problem is that eraser dabs don't allow you to use the grain panel. So you can't affect the grain that way. There are some erasers that you can change their dab profile and possibly get a bit of grain around the edge, uh, but it's really not the best way to go. What I think is the best way to go is what you suggested down here, which I think is brilliant. I've tried using a layer mask to erase areas, and that seemed to work for the most part, except that it looks like it still leaves the layer pixels at 10% opacity instead of erasing them all together. Well, I was real interested in this because I didn't understand exactly what you meant about instead of erasing them all together. So, and I thought the idea of the layer mask was perfect. So let's go to Painter and take a look. Okay, I don't know what brush you were using other than it was a pastel and other that you said it was grainy. So uh, the only brush in the pastel category is square grainy pastel that has the word grainy in it, square grainy pastel. So um, I started with that. Now I'm going to add a layer because you talked about adding a layer mask and we have to be on a layer to do that. I'll pick a color that's sort of a dark green. I'm going to take that brush and make it a little bit larger so that it'll be easier to paint with. And I'm working with basic paper uh, set at the default settings of 100, 150. Okay, so I'm going to paint across this area. Now, of course, the harder you press, the less, uh, you know, the, the darker it's going to be. And a little bit less grain is going to go there. Okay, so now what I understood that you were doing is you went over here to your layers and you added a layer mask. Made sure you're on the layer mask because the black line around the icon tells you whether you're on the layer or on the layer mask. Now, again, if you're using a layer mask and you want to uh, you don't erase, you conceal what's on the layer. You use the uh, you use color black. So black conceals and white reveals. So if I have it black and I, I've got the, have my stylus set to black and I have the layer mask selected and I begin to paint, well, it looks like it erases them. But notice those dots in the middle. That's what he was referring to uh, that it wouldn't get rid of everything. What it's doing there, it's painting. When it paints, even on the layer mask, it's painting with texture. If you look close, you can kind of see there's some white spots in there. Well, those white spots are what's hiding. So in order to make this work, you've got to change your grain setting. Now, grain settings across painter brushes is not it's just not consistent. In some brushes, the lower the grain number, the more grain you get. In other brushes, the higher the grain number, the more grain you get. So you just have to kind of play with it and figure out which is which and which brush. In this particular brush, the lower the grain setting, the more grain you get. So I'm going to increase my grain setting up to about 15, 16, 17. And then try doing that again. Well, now look, see, I'm getting most of the pixelization or the little grainy stuff out of the center. And it's looking better uh, than it did before. But the edge is still going to be a straight edge. And part of that problem is because we have... If we look down here at the dab preview, we're using a captured dab, and there's not anything we can really do to that edge. It's going to be that way no matter what. So let's try going for another brush. Now, if I go up to the top of the brushes and I go to Blunt Hard Pastel, 
Notice that the dab type is circular. And if I bring up my advanced control stuff, I'll see that the dab preview shows me that it's circular. And notice that it's heavy in the center and then it bleeds out light to the edge. Okay, so if I take this brush and again, staying on my layer mask using black and I begin to go down uh, or go up and down paint, I'm getting an edge that is much better than what I had before. The edge looks much more uh, textured or grainy like the original edge did, but I'm still not getting all the the uh, grain to go away. So let's increase the grain again to about 15, 16% and try it again. Now I'm getting the grain away and I have an edge that's pretty good. Now, what else can I do for this? If I go again to my layer, uh, my advanced brush controls, there is a panel called dab profile. And in this particular dab profile, it's a dull profile. And that means that the brush is touching sort of in the middle here, but then it falls off to the side. Well, if it's that fall off to the side that gives us that ability to get the grain on the edge. So if I take the dab profile pointed, now look at my dab preview. It's really falling off a lot. I have just a, a smaller uh, dot in the center. So let's try this one. Now it's getting rid of all the grain uh, in the center because we're up at 15%. But look again, the edge is giving me, let's make it a little bit bigger because that, that point is really small. The edge is a little bit more grainy looking even than the one before. Now, that one was a little pointy. So what if we come over here to the medium profile and try that? Now, the medium profile gives me big again with the fade off. And that, I think, is probably the best. Compared to these others, I get a really nice textured edge. And, and it wouldn't be just the blunt hard pastel, artist pastel I could work with. Um, there are a number of pastels that have circular dab type. You can't do it with a captured, but a circular dab type that allows me to change the dab profile. So all I need to do to make these brushes work is check my grain to make sure it's high enough to get rid of uh, the stuff in the middle. And I want to check my dab profile so that it's not giving me a precise, clean edge on the side. All right. I hope that helps. Uh, Marcel, I think your idea was brilliant. You just needed to go a little bit further with different brushes. Thanks for the question. Bye.